This is a cell deck new LED flashing for use on tiled roofs. It's for use predominantly sealing soil pipe, chimney, flue and vent pipes. It has a 0 to 40 degree pitch and it's an EPDM cone which has a temperature range up to 150 degrees centigrade. There's cut marks up the cone, typically on most deck types. It gives you the size range of the pipe in both millimetres and inches and you cut the groove that corresponds to the arrow for the pipe size that you want. After this, we recommend you absolutely do not cut it with a trimming knife as any nicks that are created with a trimming knife will almost certainly split the deck tight as it's placed over the pipe. The cone is attached to an acrylic coated lead base and the lead base is coat too. The reason that we've coated it is of course with lead, um, the toxins in lead means that it's safe to handle. The coat too lead means that you can dress it as it stretches and bends with ease and of course because it's acrylic coated there will never be an instance where you will leach onto your tiles and stain your new roof tiles. It's UV resistant. The size range of the Saldec new lead is 12 to 330 mil diameter. We'll now be showing you how to install this product with an installation video. We're now going to fit the cell deck new lead to this soil pipe coming out of a roof. So the best way is invert it like that, get hold of the length that you want, find out what size it is on there. So I have 110 to 130. Okay, so I've got my number there. So I'll cut down this rubber to the ring that I need to cut off and very gently, very carefully cut around the ring. At the top of the ring, we'll make sure you're in the right area. Right, so just check around there, because if you have any splits going downwards, when you pull it over there, it will split. This is meant to be tight, so when you pull it down over, it is nice and tight. When you get it down into position, like that, just give it the snap test. That tells you it's there and it's doing its job properly. Because these are concrete interlocking tiles, there's quite a space between the battens. So I've put an extra batten in, extra couple, to support this so it doesn't sag. That is a very nice material to work with. Very easy to put into position. Even down the creases there, they don't normally go that well.